Hi, guys. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Good evening. I'm fine. Everything good? I'm good. Good. Very good. Oh, there you are, Mr. Wilson, Daisy, Nuvi, and just on time. How was the day? Did you go to work today? Yes. Yes, yes right. Work. Everyone did. Yes. I hope it yes. was good. Okay, well, last night no. you told me that you needed a little bit more practice with the topic, right, with adverbial clauses of time. So I would like us to do an exercise to begin with before we do a uh, speaking practice. It's really easy. It's a simple one. So because you only have two options in this case. And here's another one. Hold on. I will send you the link to the, to the Zoom chat over it. Here it is. Can you open that link, please? On your laptop or computer? We're going to do two exercises. And here's the second one. I will also send you this to WhatsApp in case that, that is us uh, that's useful. So you simply have to select the, the time clause that is more suitable for the situation, all right? Do you have any questions about the exercise? You're gonna do this in pairs. Yes. Yep. Hello, teacher. Yes, you're going to do this exercise in pairs. I sent two links. Um, is that clear or do you have any questions about that? I will also send it to WhatsApp, but I sent it to the to the Zoom, what's to the Zoom chat. Okay. Are you ready? Zoom chat. Zoom chat. Okay. Yes, open it please, and I will also send it to WhatsApp in case you need it. But let's work in pairs, all right. So everyone accept the invitation, please. Nubia, do you have uh, the link open? Hi, Nubia. Can you hear no. her? No. You haven't been able to talk to her? Hold on, Veronica. Yes, Giovanni says, Giovanni says that he won just two minutes. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, 
Hello, teacher. Hi. How are you How doing are you? here? <laughs> Great. Uh, what Do you need help? We are with... doing. Yes, teacher. Please. Yeah, I sent the links to the Zoom chat and I also sent it to WhatsApp. We have to do the exercises related to the last topic we discussed last night. Albert Klaus's time. Exactly. Did you get the okay. link? I have link on my phone. Okay. Okay. Well, that works. Uh, okay. Let me see. So in the first one, we have to complete the sentence. Well, well, get there. We will sing uh, soon after. Mm, can you explain the number one teacher, please? Uh, sure, let me get there, hold on. Right now, that's not the link. Can you open the second one? Okay. The second one is good. Uh, Hold the, on. The, 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 second. the second. Yeah, second I sent, second right, I sent link. two links. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I sent two, okay. but these are not the ones. Hold on. The second one is good. I will send the other one. Sorry. Okay. Fill in the blanks with, with an upper paid adverb. Hi, William. Hi, Rene. Yeah, Franklin. Hold on. Did you get the links that I sent? Let's see, William and Franklin. Guys, did you get the link that I sent? Yes, teacher. Okay, so we're working on the second link. All right, Carolina is also here. So the three of you can work together because I don't have another room. So open the link on the laptop or on WhatsApp, right? And number one should say, I always take a bath, I go to bed. So before, after, when? Let's discuss that, okay? Okay. Hi, Carolina. You're muted. Okay, are you in the um the link? Did you send it? Link in the WhatsApp WhatsApp group. Right, we're practicing the topic from last night. Okay. Yeah, either WhatsApp or you can check here, Zoom's chat. I sent it here as well. I'm going to send it again because there are a lot of new. Uh, uh, hold on, let me see. Here the link are. is already in WhatsApp, teacher. Yes. But they are two, and I also sent them here to Zoom in case you want to use it on the computer. Oh, okay. Right. So let's start, please. What is your question? What is your question? Uh, what do you have to do? Rene Palacios, I don't listen. I hear him. Uh, what, uh, what we have to do today? What do we have to do? We're working on the link that I sent. Okay. I sent it to Zoom and I also sent the links to WhatsApp. So I, I need you to do the exercises, please. They're related to what we studied at the end of the class last night. Okay, okay, okay. Did you open the links? Yes, I have it. Okay. So let's start. One person reads one, you discuss what the answer is, and and so on. Okay. Do you have it already, guys? Hi. 
do you have a, a, already the the web page? Um, I am in Albert Klaus of Stein in the second link. Oh yes, we have to respond to that question. Yes, one question. I always take a bath, go to bed. I think it's before. Yes, the answer is before. Yes, the second one. Will you wait here until I am ready? Yes, until the answer. Number three, I was not at home when 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 he came to see me. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Next. And you do not disturb me. Do not disturb me when I'm busy with my work. Okay, very good. Number and five. Number number five. Has some has she finished that project? She started working in the next. Chavo del Ocho. Yes, and, uh, yes. Sorry, guys. I need to add another room. Hold on. Because there are a lot of new students. So accept the invitation again, please. Sorry. A message. Okay. Well. What happened? Okay. We uh, get confused okay. because uh, we said we will get there. Hold on. Are you on the first link or the second one? The, second the first one. one. The first one. Hold on. Let me get there. Is the exercise two? Adverbia close of time exercise two. Close of time. So number two, will you wait there? Will you wait here? That one. Is that the one? Yes, we will get there. We will send a message soon after. Oh, uh, we will we wait here. Um, that's number two. We will send a message. I don't see it. You're probably on the second exercise. Yes, teacher. Hold on, let me check. You should give the milk. The problem is that maybe you um maybe you open the first link on WhatsApp, which I deleted. I don't know if that's the one you're working on. I I am looking that right take a look because i sent two but i deleted one message so i don't know if that's yes what you have. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the problem mm -hmm. that's right so okay so we are going to do the okay yeah the other ones are okay. easier that is too too complicated okay a very close one uh-huh Yes, that's one. I always take a bath. Is I don't know if I'm lost, but the one that I found it's he always did well on his English test. His parents were not surprised that he got an A. No, it's the one Giovanni has. I will send it again, but only to... the first one is the one with the image. It says new post. Open that link. Uh, okay. The one that says English Grammar that org. That one. 
before. And the first exercise should say, um, I always take I a bath. Think, uh, there we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Oh, uh, no. Uh, also. Uh, also. What does it mean, also? Also. Mm -hmm. Is you should A L T H O U G H, Franklin? Although? Yes. Okay. Um, Although. Oh. That's the meaning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Number four, you should say goodbye to your brother before you leave for Europe. Before? It's okay. Before, brother. Is when for me. Yeah. I have a problem in my cell phone. All todo lo veo en español. No sé por qué ese me pasa. Me salió en español todo. Mm -hmm. You can problema. do. You have to. You have to go to a incognito. If you do that, then it would not translate it anymore. But if you can, open it on the computer, because I also sent it here to the chat. Okay. Check the chat. I'm going to send it again. Hold on. Okay. But in that case, open it from the computer. No tengo mi computadora cerca. All right. So open the link, but go to incognito. Incognito. Yeah. Okay. No, after. He doesn't understand. He doesn't understand. understand. He doesn't speak. He doesn't speak French very well. So that's. He because. doesn't understand. Mm. Because. 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 Él no habla, ¿verdad? Because. Uh, because he, he does. Okay. He spoke. He spoke okay. slowly. 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 She should. She. She should. She will understand. Because. What is the meaning also that? Sí, porque. Because. ¿Por qué? Él. Debería entender, no. Because, porque, el de entender. Así que, el de, bueno, sé. So, that is, así que. Exactly. Okay. Or with the purpose of. Okay. Entonces, so, that's. So, that's. So, that. It is the second okay. link, right? Yes. Yes. Number nine. Uh, I think is is something wrong with the number nine, but <laughs> I don't know <laughs> because started started to he spoke slowly, and then she would understand. So that she would understand. Okay. Uh -huh, exactly. Because okay, it expresses okay, okay. purpose. Okay, number 10. If Thanks. you stop crying, I buy you an ice cream. I, if, if, you, if, if, if you, if you, si tu puedes llorar. Okay. Check answers. <laughs> uh, number one, please try again. <laughs> uh, we, uh, we missed the number one. Check the angle reverses or The number one is, is incorrect. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oof. We have a nine. <laughs> nine, yes. Okay. Very good. Is, is, is sense. Okay. All right, did you finish the exercises? Yes. Yes? yes? Was it yes. easy? 
a little? Yes. Yes, a little. A little. Mm -hmm. Right. Do you think that you may need more practice uh, using this topic later, perhaps? So I have a question. Um, in me. what case you use when or since? Mm. Okay. Let's do it with an example, right? So the first one says, he always, can you see my screen? Am I sharing it? Yes. Okay. okay. It says, he always did well in his English test. His parents were not surprised that he got an A. The thing is that this has two meanings, Fernando, and I think that that's the reason why that you're confused. So since means if because because he always did well or since he always did well and it also means a starting point in time when something happened so that's why it is a little confusing i guess because it has two meanings for example i have worked for ingles corporativo since 2017 or 16 i think All right. so that's the starting point guys the microphone thank you all right so that is one or you can also say since we study late at night we have more time i guess right? or we don't have to work so i'm expressing the reason is that clear now okay yeah any other questions Any questions? No questions. Sorry, guys, let's mute the microphone. I hear the dogs. I cannot find the person. All right, so now we're gonna go back to the, to the platform. We're going session four. Hold on. There. All right, can you read the objective, please? Mauricio? Okay. Um, practice, practice asking and answering question in English using the present perfect and simple past tense. In this lesson, English teacher Joe Science explains when use simple past verbs. The present perfect tense, depending on the time frame of the action. Time frame. Practice asking question in the present uh, time frame. Time mm -hmm. frame of the action. Practice asking question in the present perfect using have you ever and discovering your past experience by responding in both the present perfect and simple past. This lesson is includes an English oral comprehension exercise. Okay, pretty, pretty complete. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? No. no. Time frame no, is back here. No. Not uh, time. Time. Time frame is a period of time. Okay. So let's watch the video. Here it is. Pay attention. Sure. Uh, yes. I have a question. Okay. Um, are you sure are you sure that is the correct lesson for today? I think that's the inter the modulo one. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Yes, and it, it feels strange because we were here, we studied something similar last class, I mean, last module, so maybe not. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Where do I go? Give me one second. There is dog. <laughs> yeah, I already muted him. Sorry guys, give me one second. 
So what section was it? It's the one after the midterm, right? I think right, I opened the incorrect one. You're right. We, I think the point is that we are in the English intermediate model to one. Yeah, I probably opened this one. Hold on. Most of you are in class tonight. That's great. I see everyone. I'm happy. <laughs> no warnings tonight. It's a great thing. Excellent. <laughs> it worked. Messaging Drew. Yes. Yeah, that worked. All right. Let me see. Practice skills. We already did this part. Unique customs. We finished that. Um, and then the midterm. So let's go to. Is everybody on the platform? Yes. 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 So section four, here it is. I have problem in, in the, I have problem in, in B. Sure. The mid, mid, in, oh, midterm? Mid, midterm in, in B, reaching. Okay. All bad. Are very close of time. Really? So if you're already working on the midterm, take um, a screenshot of the exercise and we'll try to do it together on WhatsApp because we usually don't do the midterm together, just the final exam. So this we already did. Sorry guys, almost there. What section is it? Five yeah, or four? four? Back four? to the future. Yeah, I was there, I don't know what happened. Okay, let's um, up to two. Let's do something. Uh, Fernando, could you share it, please, and read the objective? Can you share your screen? Read the objective okay. while is, I get it. I think the, the page is, is lap. <laughs> oh, now you can. Because I, I, can, I can open the, the lesson right now. It's, it's, it's just thinking. It's loading? It's loading, that, but nothing happened. Oh, probably. Let me see. Okay, who is on section four? Rina, Rene, are you there? On that section, section four? Because I, yeah, it's loading for me as well. Section four, four, mm -hmm. one, four, one point. Yes, are you there, Franklin? Yes. Can you share the screen with us, please, and read the objective? I'm connected uh, with my cell phone. <laughs> with the phone? What? Okay. No, it doesn't matter. Hold on. I think I finally got it. Anyway, uh, read the objective for us, Franklin. From your phone. Okay, there is. In this class, you will be exposed to an audio where examples of past, present, and future tense are used. Okay. And this also looks familiar, but let's see. Everybody mute the microphone, please. We're going to watch. Hello and welcome back. We're about to listen to different tenses in a single conversation. Pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. This neighborhood has changed. Part A. Listen and practice. This neighborhood has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here. But the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like every 
construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty, Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Did you get the tenses? Did you notice how they used simple past along with present and future? Stay with us so you can learn to do the same. Just malls and parking lots. That's because. All right, so we're using present perfect and also simple past. Can you see this conversation well? It's a little bit difficult. If somebody is looking at this from the phone, could you send a screenshot, please? Maybe it's easier. I couldn't find it on the internet. Let me see, maybe this neighborhood. All right, anyway, can you notice the uses? Yeah, can you use, uh, notice the uses of Present perfect and past simple in the conversation. Uh, no. Here's one. Voltage. The neighborhood has changed. That's present perfect, right? This neighbor has changed. Yes, that is one. Okay, let's identify that present perfect or past simple, okay? So what about on the first line? Can you see that? Sure, excuse me, I sent the conversation for WhatsApp. You sent it, is it better? Let me see. Right, look at the first one, the one that Giovanni sent, I think it's clear. I think you can see it well. Look. Yeah, you can read from it. Okay, so on the first line, is that present perfect or simple past? Present perfect. Very good. Second line, is there something about that? Present perfect or simple past? Simple past. Simple Where? past. Isha. What is this? People What's live the here. Live. Not many people live here. Very good. Next one. Still line. Okay, how we used to buy the similar one, right? Anything else? Okay, what we're going to do then, guys, I hear the dog. I don't know who that is. All right. What we're going to do is practice this conversation, but quickly. All right. I don't want you to take too long on this. I would also want you to modify some of it. So talk about your neighborhood, one of yours. All right. And talk about some changes. You can also talk about a, um, a shopping mall that has changed that you remember. Okay, but you will have five minutes total, so do it quickly, please. We're going to work in pairs this time. So, everybody, 
I'm going to change some of you, all right? Accept the invitation, please. Miss Carolina and Veronica, accept the invitation, please. No me sale. Teacher. Hold on, hold on. I am waiting the invitation. Okay, anyway, Franklin is here and you're going to work with, with Franklin. So work together right now. Only Franklin? Yes, Franklin and you. Ah, okay. Franklin. Hello, Franklin, hello. hello. Okay, let's practice. Okay, you are uh, Tanya. But, <laughs> okay, I am Tanya. Um, this neighborhood, uh, shame for uh, uh, hello, teacher. Hi, who are you practicing with? With Daisy? I am alone. Oh, Daisy is here. I don't listen. Daisy, Daisy, are you here? Daisy, no, I don't hear. Let me see. I'm going to move you then. Uh, Mauricio. Okay, accept the invitation, Mauricio. I'm going to change. Remember how we use to buy candies and the, a little grocery store. Now this um Muriplex cinema. Okay. Yeah, and they 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 tearing tearing down or high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just small um sorry Rina, are you practicing? Were you able to practice? This was the turn of Guillermo, but he didn't say anything. <laughs> Hold okay. on. Hold on, I'm gonna move you. Okay, go to the other one. Here, I sent the invitation. This neighbor. Um, this, this neighbor, no, this shopping center sure has changed. I know a few years ago, not many stores are in here. Not many stores, no, not many stores were in here. But the, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy on that little grocery store? Now it's a multiple store so related to, uh, I don't know, related to food courts and something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they are tearing down or... Uh, they are turning down or uh -huh. change the conversation. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Tony. Uh, yes. You tell me. Uh, I'm mad. I, okay. 
en mi time. Mauricio. Uh, yes. Oh, I, 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 Tania, uh, Mauricio. Matt. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I, okay. Matt. This, or, yes. Or, or Tania. Matt. No. Matt, yes. Okay. You okay, start. I begin. Okay. This neighbor sure has changed. I know a few years ago. Not many people like here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on the every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little to this place. Only the my work to house. Work to house. This is mm, me me too. Me too. It's, it's very it's, it's a it's our routine. Yeah. Coffee break between breakfast and and lunch. I I have one hour for the lunch when I was in my office, but it, it's better for me when I was visiting customers because okay. I we're all here, I, I, Carolina. I, I, <laughs> what? <laughs> Everybody's here already. <laughs> you are doing great. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Sorry, you were inspired. <laughs> she was no. excited, teacher. <laughs> she was inspired. <laughs> okay. Does anybody want to show me what you did? Volunteers. Volunteers. Did you modify the conversation? Excuse me, teacher. I have one question. Tell me. What does it mean, tearing down? They are tearing down, like they're destroying it. Tearing oh, down. Destroy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank yep. you. Any volunteers? No, nobody wants to show me the conversation. Huh. I wonder why. All right. <laughs> So, before we move on to the next topic, and this is about perfect, perfect, there is something we never practiced, all right, which is conversation or questions using for and since in the present perfect, all right? So, we're going to discuss those. For example, one question says, how long have you studied English? You can say, I have studied English. I'm going to write an example here for you. Look at this. I have I have studied <coughs> English for thirteen two, years. Two months. <laughs> <laughs> In my case, I studied English for like eight years. Let me see. Or I have studied English since. 2006, all right, that's when I started. So you can use either or, the difference, this is the point in time, right? And this is the duration of it, all right, eight years. Mm -hmm. When you're using four, is that clear? Do you think you can practice using that or you need more examples? More examples, please. For teacher. More examples, all right. You know what, what we're going to do is we're going to discuss half of the questions tonight and the other half tomorrow, okay? Because there are too many. So I don't want you to do practice half of the questions tonight. Another example, uh, the second question, I sent it to WhatsApp, right? Can you see it? Read the second question for me, please. How long have you had long, short hair? In my case, long, right? So, but um, I'm going to ask someone, Irene, how long have you had long hair for? No, you know what? Is Guadalupe here? No. No, Guadalupe is not here. She, she got her hair cut one week ago. 
very short. Anyway, very Irene. short. Yeah, have you seen it? <laughs> All right, yes. Irene, how long have you had your hair long for? I mean, how long have you had it long? I have. Everybody else, mute the Are microphone, please. I have. Except Irene. Everybody mute the microphone, please. So go ahead, Irene. Okay. I have a uh, long hair. Um, you need since present when perfect. I was child. <laughs> That's great. I have had, Irene. I have. I have had. I, ha I, I, have, I have had a long hair. Uh huh. Yeah, that's a great answer, actually. I so, love, I love uh -huh. since right and um, Irene, if you say a long hair, it means only one. Can you imagine <laughs> just one long hair? So no, long hair with no uh. or what's the equivalent? <laughs> long hair. What's the equivalent, guys? I have had long hair for. How can I? Say the same. 20 years, 20, 20 years ago. Five years. Oh, so that would mean Miss Irene is 20 years old, right? For 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you, Irene? Can we know? Is it secret? <laughs> yes, I can. Well, How old are I, you? I have it. I am? 37 years old. <laughs> 30, okay, so this is the equivalent. You can decide to use either of them, all right? So, hold on. I'm going to delete the questions because I only want you to discuss half of them, all right? The other half we're going to discuss tomorrow. So, everybody accept the invitation, please. Let's do it quickly. Is this clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, here we go. Accept the invitation, everyone. Mauricio, are you there? Go to the other room, you didn't. Dos mil seis. Since two two thousand six. Uh -huh. Tony, how are you? How are you? Are you there? Yes. <laughs> uh, how long how long have you had a cell phone, Mr. Tony? Uh, I have uh, six months. Uh, I have had a cell phone. I have had a cell phone as six years ago. Six, for six, six months ago. Okay. No, sorry, you have to say for six months. For okay. six months. Since, for... since June, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, Selena, how long? How how long wait, how long have you had uh, long hair or you, you do you use short hair mm, i have i have my hair short 
always. <laughs> okay. I have always had my shirt, my hair short. Uh, yes, teacher. I have always had my hair short. Okay, next one. Okay. I. How long have you had a cell phone? How long? Mm, how long have have you had a cell phone? Yes. I have. I have long my cell phone. I have had my my phone. Hold on, but there's someone else. Rina, how long have you had your phone? Mm, I have had my phone, but this means the the cell phone that I have now. Or mm -hmm. okay, I have had my phone for. And three days. Oh, you just oh, bought did. it? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to your old phone? And I changed it. I changed it okay, okay. with uh, my mother. You exchanged it? Yes. I have, I have my phone since... I have had or, uh, or I've had. I have had. I have my phone since... One year and a half ago. No, yes. Yes, that would that could work. But I you have to say I have had or I've had. I have had yes, my phone. It's present perfect. Okay, I have had my phone my phone since one year and a half ago. Or since since 2017 that would be who is that veronica or nubia veronica okay nubia are you there hi all right what about you i have the teacher is teacher is teacher is there is there may i question the teacher yeah i'm here yes Teacher, and the number five, how long have you been alive? The structure is the same or changed for the, for the uh, things? You, what, what question? You're using present perfect. Uh -huh. Before or since, the structure is the same. What changes is the time reference. What question uh -huh. are you talking about? Um, for example, I said that uh, I have had being a leave signs uh, the complement plus complement. Missing. Had a phone. How long have you been alive? Yes. Yes, I think the 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 same, the the answer is I have been right. Yes, that's the one. I have been alive. I have been alive, alive is for, an adjective. Ta -ta, or for or since ta -ta -ta. Exactly. But the. The beginning is I have been, right? Exactly. Okay. You got it. Because Irene said I had had been. So that is the... the no, the confusion. I have you been. say do that? Doubt. Exactly. Okay. That is the okay. doubt of... Okay. How many questions did you discuss? Four. Four. Four questions, you Four. finished? Yes. Awesome. Yes. Okay, we will continue tomorrow then. Um, do you have any questions? No, teacher. No, no any questions. No, no, and it's no, time teacher. to go. All oh, right. Thank you. It was great seeing all of you. I would expect to see everyone as well tomorrow, okay? Okay, I thank you, teacher. Have a good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. It was a pleasure.
My pleasure. Bye. Bye. Bye.